Welcome back, guys. Welcome back to Ponte to Prem episode 32 in our League 2 season here at Pontefract Collieries, where we're trying to take Pontefract from the lower leagues of English football up into the echelons of the Premier League and Champions League glory. Today, we take on the same logo gang with Rochdale and Stockport. Who are you? But first... We'll go through what we've done. We've made some changes. As you saw in the last episode, major changes were needed. So I'll take you through them. We made a new tactic. You're joking. Again, another one. I know. Um, I'll go through the results in a moment, but we were really just, I was at panic stations, all buttons being pressed, friend of submarine, it would have been gone all red and it was going, rrr, rrr, rrr. Just, just going mental. People running around, falling over. You get the picture. And so... I had a little look ski about you know and the, what's going well in people's tactics at the moment. What why I did so well then not so well. Uh, I went back to my five at the back. We went back to the Burnley way and it, some stabilisation was doing okay. But I really liked the four at the back. I really liked having that extra player up front, that extra player getting involved because I'd still have my two centre backs, maybe a holding player, but then everyone's forward. Whereas before we'd have, I would have three players back, big gaps, not enough attacking. I'm, I've gone for a more direct approach. It's a 4-3-1-2. I've seen a lot of people have been using this formation. It's obviously different positions and styles of play, but 4-3-1-2 seems to be the meta. So I had a go at it. We're playing goalkeeper at the back. Actually, I wanted to change you to take fewer risks. Thank you. My goalkeeper, not sweeper keeper. Inverted win back, so shoot less often. We've got ball playing mid uh, ball playing defenders with no instructions. A deep line playmaker with no instructions. Instructions galore on my attacking midfielders. So they're gonna hit more direct passes, take more risks, cross more, dribble more, shoot less, roam from position and get further forward. So they're just gonna be the go-betweens. They're gonna be all you know, they're gonna be wide, they're gonna be in the middle, they're gonna be making runs, they're gonna be everywhere. These are the most important parts. They're also gonna be picking out key passes as fast as they can, get the ball and send them. We've got Shadow Striker on nothing. We had a Shadow Striker in our first one we ever did with Newcastle and with Pontefract. So I think I'm going to make that work again. It seems to be doing all right. And then my two advanced forwards. I love advanced forwards. I think they're the best form of attackers. We shoot less often. It just means when they're through on goal, if there's a better option to pass, they will you they'll take it, basically. We are playing attacking. So that's what I like to do. But we're going to play more narrow. We're going to be... I've left this blank. Bit more standard directness when I hit it a bit further forward. Hit early crosses. They're low crosses as well. High tempo uh, and run at defence. Okay. Um, the Gagan press is still the same. So counter press, counter, rolling it out. And then a bit high line. The defence, not using the offside trap anymore. But we're preventing the short goal kick. Triggering all the time and we're getting stuck in. And the only difference is I've seen now players just dive into tackles a bit more. I haven't had a red card yet. Touch wood. But... It's something to look at when we're playing matches. What has that done for us? Well, 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 well. We are sitting fourth. Fourth in the league. It's It's been incredibly difficult. It's been awful. It's been good though, at the same time because at the end of the day, we, we've won four in a row, as you can see. Um, look at the league position. Down and then up. And then we're just slowly up. We're equal points with Bristol in the automatic playoff position. Nice. If we can get third, that'd be amazing. But Notts County have played a game extra. It's it's all to play for still. Very early on in the season, only 14 games played, really. So it's been good. David Crammon's our top goal scorer. Random, I know. GP, as always, is our highest average rated player. I think he's been like that for like three seasons in a row. Uh, most assists for Campbell. And then just a mixture of the rest. The results. So when you left, we lost again then. Oh, so we lost to Tramier. We then lost to Oxford 5-0. What are you, retarded? Um... Yeah, 1,000 fans came to watch us lose 5-0. 1,001 fans came to watch us 5-0. Five, 5. You can see in the stats, fully deserved. We got our asses handed to us in a 4-1-2-3. Tried that, didn't work. Okay, well, we'll go to Fleetwood. Fleetwood got a man sent off, but the match, we were already ahead there. And against Fleetwood, uh, we played all reliable. Five at the back, we played the, the Burnley way. We did well, but they still played better than us. Then we played Stevenage. We then played Stevenage again with this this formation, and it worked really well. We'll show you some goals from the Stevenage match, actually. McGavin, he's been pretty decent. And then I I I Iwalumo. Iwalumo. Forgive me. McGavin again on the set pieces. Bang! Jackson this time getting involved. Very good. It was really frustrating because we we changed the formation again because for me 
To say we had five at the back, this formation is so leaky through the middle. Very frustrating. Really frustrating. Kite, good penalty. GP gets uh, involved. Seaman. Seaman's there. Back to the GP. Great finish. Good, good finish. He's everywhere, GP, isn't he? Wins the ball back. Gets to the byline. Crosses that in for Swan. Swan's been great. Again, remember when we bought him just to like cover and he ended up just being an absolute worldie. Well, he's continuing on that form. Uh, Seaman whips it in. McGavin. Oh, Norman should have done a lot better there, but I mean, he volleyed at him, so what What? What can you do? What can he do? We beat Gillingham 2-0. Ooh, go away, Charlie Driscoll. Um, again, five at the back. That worked very well. We then played Oldham when we drew. Um, and then we lost 5-2 to, to South End. <laughs> And I think this was the time, you know, hard to take because obviously we had a lot of a lot of possession and whatnot. But I think after this game, I was like, you know what? We'll change the formation. We'll try something else. And I looked to a bit of research. I tried it flat, uh, 4-3-3. We won. We won, but we were not as convincingly as I'd like to. So I went back to the drawing board again. And we won, by the way, with a man sent off. Absolute scenes. Love it. Then we played Boreham Wood. And then, yeah, here we go. This is where we, we took over. And look at this. Look at the difference. 3.54. We'll watch these highlights. I'll show you the sort of goals we're hit. But we're, it's good. But we're, we're we're not penning people in. We're trying to we're kind of, yeah, hitting them long. And whack. What a goal from Swan. Well, yeah, we're a bit, we're a lot more direct. Which I think when we are consistently the poorer team is going to be the approach. They got a goal. Really poor goalkeeping from Chibuzi. Probably not going to last very long, but then you can see here overcrowds the center of the pitch when we get when we get forward. So if we don't hit them immediately, we kind of hover around the edge and we've got loads of people in the middle. So it seems to work well. Campbell, Cleary, and that was it. Good result. Very good result against Boreham Wood. And then we played Morecambe 2 1. And then we played against Wickham, and this really was a fantastic result. Almost identical in stats, but we just took our chances, just more clinical. And we'll see here uh, the big differences between the two teams. Was just finishing Egan, Swan, Cleary, Swan. See how we're flooding forward? Look at all those men in there. They whipped that ball in. It's exactly what I'm wanting. Early whipped crosses. And because we flood the, ball, uh, the box quickly, it seems to work. And again, Seaman, plenty of people in the center of the pitch. Bang. Back to when the game first was released, the headers were OP. I don't think the headers are OP at the minute. You see, diving in that tackle is what I want to see. I mean, it won't work on this occasion, but that's what we've seen a lot more of, and you will see that today, I reckon. Great goal from there, Campbell. They've got their own Campbell. McGavin. Keep, what's the keeper doing? To say we've gone up a few divisions, the keepers have kind of gone backwards in regards to their ability. Egan, Swan, ball over the top to Campbell, who picks out Cleary. That's lovely. This is what this football manager is really good at. The last football managers, he would have like shot against the side of the net. This year, when you tell them to shoot less often, they play much better. And then ball whipped in again for Campbell. And that momentum has meant that our dynamics are now very good. We've got an excellent club atmosphere. Excellent, very good club atmosphere. Good team cohesion. Excellent managerial support. And let's just remind ourselves that the actual familiarity is still very poor. We've only played a few games with this. But when your team are happy, they will play better. That's just how it works. You know, in life, when you're happy with stuff, things just go your way. So that's how we're doing it. We lost in the Papa John's trophy. If we look at the Papa John's, we are rock bottom. Great job. But I honestly couldn't give... I couldn't give. Could not give. Pockets can't give. Don't care. Not bothered about the tournament whatsoever. We are only interested in going up. And I didn't think that was a possibility. I now think it is a possibility. We could go up. So have to see how we get on with it, really. A good little FA Cup run maybe would be good. But we're in so much debt that no one seems to mention anything about the debt. They say we have to keep clearing off, which we are paying some money back. But the higher we go, the more income we'll get. When we get our own stadium as well, a lot more income. Get to the Championship and Premier League. Money comes in. Big, big differences. Today's match. Uh, the team is Jabuzi, Seaman, Iwalumo, Leek, GP, Egan, McGavin, Driscoll, Cleary, Campbell, Swan. This is our best team. Um, unfortunately, Cramond is injured. Um, and a few people are tired from that last match. So this is what we're going with. Let's get into it. They find themselves 15th, Rochdale. So I would really think we could beat them. What's it called? It's an upset. It's not an upset at this point. Them, them beating us is the upset. Here they are on the ball, but we play counter-attacking football. Here we go. Yeah, McGavin. McGavin. 
tries to find that killer ball. Not didn't happen this time. Win that back. Need to win it back. Oh. Come on, boys. Hustle, hustle, hustle. We've only got really the one uh, defensive player in the team outside of the actual defence. But um, with me having these on support now, my my full my full backs aren't on just pure attack. So they will, yeah, you see there, they will make that run. But it's more of a support rather than just absolutely bombing forward willy-nilly. Driscoll, can you find the pass? There he is, there's Swan. Can you finish? Ah! Oh! <laughs> How has that got in? What has happened? I, I don't know, Jim. <laughs> What has happened? I've got no idea, but 1-0 to the calls. Was it showing replays for every reason, which would have been very helpful there because I have no idea how the goal went in, but never mind. That should work now. Uh, highlights. Here's another highlight. Here's GP finds Cleary, who's really loving the shadow striker role. Cleary to Campbell. Oh, good effort. Not bad. Stadium starting to get a bit more full, starting to get a bit more support. Oh, we're third. We're in third. Bristol Rovers, what's happening to you? Well, they're losing to Oxford. Go on, Oxford. And we're in the automatic promotion spots. Don't get ahead of ourselves because anything can change as we saw at the beginning of the season. Please, the number of shots. Let's keep going. What can Kemp do? Finds Fletcher. Sweeney looking for that long ball. Dealt with by Leak, who's our only player booked, which is fine. As I say, we get stuck in now, so we need to be careful. Chibuzi. Ball out to GP. What can he do? Finds Driscoll. He's going to find that killer pass. He does to Campbell. Campbell's through. Campbell finishes. He doesn't finish it. Doesn't finish it. That should be buried. McLaughlin. Fletcher. Hungbo. Great, great name. Hungbo. McLaughlin. Oh, he's done him on the wing. Seaman couldn't stop him. Chibuzi with a poor clearance. Uh, Driscoll with a weird scissor kick, but it's kind of half, half cleared, half dealt with. Pressure on here. From Campbell, McLaughlin, they're away. Great ball in keeper, not needed. Wow, put wide. Ooh, that was a let off. What can we do, guys? I want an extra goal thrown out, which is good because I tell him to do that. Driscoll, Cleary, what can Cleary do? Finds Campbell, any support? Yep, Seaman, where's he going? Pressure on here from, uh, from Rochdale. Iwilumo, back to the goalkeeper. You shouldn't punt it. You should look for the pass. I told him to take less, take furious. Now, there we go. Lovely. Just to be back to Seaman. Now, Seaman, four, what can he do? Finds Campbell. Campbell, ball over the top to Cleary. Can he finish the match? No, he can't. Another chance goes begging. Egan, you're confused by feedback. Well, how comes Chang then? Pollock is going to come on for Cleary, who's not had a great game. Everyone else has. Can we hold on? It's been a good match. We've got our goal. We've had the better chances. However... When it comes to, oh, see, we've not killed the game off, and this could, could cost us, unless Pollock can pull some out of the bag, to Chang, two substitutes combining, Swan, Stevens keeps it in, Fletcher, uh, wayward pass to McGavin, picks it up, Pollock, can he find the pass, Campbell, Cap! Oh, God, Campbell, get your shooting boots on, lad. However, we are still third, and, and that is it. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Good result. Back four. Back five. Very well played. GP 8.4. Didn't even do anything. Good win. Good, good win. Okay. Oxford, thank you very much for winning 3 0 or 3 1 against Bristol Rovers. That puts us three points clear. Although Colchester have two games in hand. If Colchester win their two games in hand, they go both. So we'll go back into fourth. But apart from that, look, it's looking positive. I mean, we are the intruders here, although Stevenage as well. Low goal difference. Notts County are the ones that are knocking us out of the park. 25 plus goal difference. But we move on to Stockport. Stockport are currently 12th in the league. Another bang average team for the league. We will progress to that match. See how we get on. Can we keep ourselves in the top three? Which means we go up automatically to League One. Let's find out. See you in a minute. Few moments later. And here we are. Right before our game at Stockport, the team is the same. Minus two changes. We've got Chibuzi. Little is on now as there was a knock taken on Seaman. Illumo, Leak, GP, Egan, McGavin, Driscoll, Cleary, Campbell, and Crammon is back in the team as Swan took a knock as well. So, Crammon and Campbell have got a bit of a relationship going. No, don't make it gay. Let's see if we can make it six in a row. We've won five in a row, uh, according to We Make It Five. Where is it? 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 Two very boring minutes later. Point in fact, make it five. Can we make it six straight wins? Big changes made. It's, it's paying off dividends. 
Let's go. 15 minutes in, we've been dominated so far shot-wise. Tutonda, I've had him before. I had him for a Blythe save. Uh, can we deal with it? Go away, Tutonda. No! Reindorf! Possibly the greatest name I've heard so far. Reindorf with a goal. Very Nordic. Uh, well, good. Oh, goody replays are working again. O'Reilly whipping that ball in. Reindorf. And it's a goal. Come on, boys. Don't be unhappy. It's okay. I mean, we're on get stuck in. You're not really getting stuck in. Well, that is that is not the start that we want. Ha halfway through. Right, everyone's minds have been changed. We need to bring this back. Here we go. Right, McGill. Punts it long. Oh, straight to Tutonda, who's a very good player. Oh, he was a couple of games ago. Uh, ball over the top. Should be dealt with by Illumo. What can Little do now? The little man that can. He just loses the ball, but McGavin's got it. Find that killer pass? Nope. Campbell. Driscoll, can you find the killer pass? Can Crammond's away? Crammond! Oh, what a goal! What a goal from Crammond! On his return to the team. McGavin. I thought the ball was lost there by by uh, by little Driscoll. Finds that killer ball straight to Crammond. Cross the goalkeeper. Good goal. 1-1. One, one. McGavin. Has an effort. Oh, keeper was rooted. Keeper was rooted. McGavin's not having it right. Cleary's not having a good game. Some changes need to be made. Cleary's coming off for Pollock. McGavin's not playing well either. On comes Chang. And Egan's can swap with Chang. Campbell's not playing well either. Give him a minute, but I, I tell you who's coming on if he does. If he does come off. Jabuzi. It's a bit of time wasting. I mean, we're the ones that want to be winning this. Find a centre mid. That's it. Oh. oh, very much a wasted pass there from the GP. Unlike him. He's only having a 6.8 this game. Reindorf, the goal scorer. Oh, ball's won back by Driscoll. Driscoll over the top to Crammond. Crammond. Oh, and he's done it again. He's done it again. And it is 2-1 to Pontefract. It has been turned around. The game has been flipped on its head by Crammond. Reindorf loses out. Chang and Driscoll. And does Driscoll assist him again? Yes, Driscoll. Crammond touch. Goal. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And I'll tell you what. George Campbell's not playing well. On comes the legend. That is... Andy Pearson. I haven't got a nickname, have we? <laughs> Was it Andy the something Pearson? He's not. It's a Sandy Pearson. GP floats the ball in. Chang straight at McGill. And Pearson having a 6.9 so far. Driscoll's knackered. Still only one goal in it. We are one goaling it all the way to League One. Oh, no. We're going to the last minute territory. Oh, Driscoll. Pollock. Crammond's away for a hat trick. Crammond's away for a hat trick. Oh my god, what a way to round off your hat trick! What an amazing goal! 3 0. What a match! It is all about Crammond. What a performance. Driscoll Pollock finds the pass. He's straight through on goal. They don't know how to handle him and dinks it at the end. <laughs> a little bit naughty, that. We don't get many dinks in this division. 3 1. And that is going to be six in a row for Pontefract. Six in a row for Pontefract. Oh, this had to be done. What a what a tactic. Sometimes my genius. It generates gravity. 4-3-1-2 is definitely the meta. It's definitely the meta, boys. What's good as well, we're bringing players on. They're doing well when they come on. It's not a case of we've just got the, the one player. Cleary didn't bring him in for a shadow strike, but he does okay. And if he doesn't, Pollock tends to do well. But that was the Driscoll and Crammond show. What does that do to the table? What a comeback. What a comeback. We're third. If we win our game in hand, we're only three points behind there, but South End, I've got a game in hand as well. Hey, we'll go for third. That's fine by me. Just, I was, again, beginning of the season, didn't know what to expect. It's hard to climatize, got spanked, then we're on the up and up and up. So yeah, not so bad there. We will be coming back. Yeah, we'll come back towards the end of December, maybe the new year, this sort of time. Um, by the time we're out of the Papa John's trophy. Woo. But if you've made it this far, thank you. Number one, uh, what a match. Hit like, hit subscribe, comment below. Are we going to go up again? Is it going to be another promotion? Is it going to be our first step towards the Premier League from the professional divisions? Are we going up? That is the question.
Let me know in your comments below. And as always, take care.